Well, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am playing with the Coffee Break stamp set by The Greeting Farm. I love this stamp set, it is so cute. And I'm gonna show you how I created this card and how I transformed it into a shabby chic card. Not too shabby, but a little bit shabby. So I hope you guys like it. So let me know what you think and which one is your favorite. The first way or the second way with the flowers. So I'm just showing you how it stands up like a regular card even with all those flowers on. Um, I just loved the look of it. So first I do my background with a stencil. Now you can use any stencil you want. Any coffee stencil would be great. Something with coffee beans on it or the word coffee or coffee cups. I got this one as a gift. I don't even have the packaging anymore so I'm not sure what it was called. Um, but just any stencil would do and I am loving this new mat that I got. It's the Wendy Betchy Make Art Mat. It's a metal mat so it comes with four magnets and it's perfect for stenciling. It holds down your stencil and your paper and it doesn't move and it comes out so beautiful when you remove that stencil. I have an Amazon store. I'll have the mat linked in my Amazon store along with some of my other favorites and by clicking on my affiliate link um, there's no charge to you and I just earn a small commission. So look how beautiful that turned out. I loved using the two different Distress inks to get that look. I used Fossilized Amber and Vintage Photo. So here I'm taking out my images and seeing what do I want to do with this card. That would even be just a great card. More of a clean and simple card. So here I'm just cleaning up my mat with my uh, car chamois that I got on Amazon. I'll see if I could link that in my store as well. So I'm using my handy little magnet there to hold my card in place while I put some distress ink around the edges. So I wanted to make this a little bit more coffee expressoed. So I just love using these coffee colors when making a coffee card. So I'm just gonna grunge up the edges here. Um, using my Picket Fence blending brush tool. I love that for um, soft, soft edges. It works wonderful. I'm gonna speed through the rest of the shading around the sides of the card here. And then I will create a little hill for my characters to stand on. And I am just arranging it to see if I want the characters in front of the hill or behind the hill. And then I am getting out my sentiments. I thought that center right there was a perfect spot for my coffee break sentiment. And I will stamp that out with the CC Designs new hybrid ink. I love that ink, it stamps really nice. I'll have that listed in the description box as well. So I'm going to ink up my hill as well so it matches the rest of the card. Get my art glitter glue out and adhere my images down. I think these characters are so cute. Which one's your favorite? The one with the glasses or the one with the purse? It's hard to choose. They're so cute. I love the other one with the little bunny on her, on her shirt. I did a previous card using the stamp set. I'll have it linked up above for you if you want to watch the other card. I'm just going to glue my hill onto my card panel here. I like to lay my 
acrylic black over to help the images dry flat. I'm using my bone folder here. It's the Teflon bone folder to crease my card base there. I love using that thing. And there is the first way to do the card. Super cute. I'm going to add those stack of latte cups to the inside of the card. I'm going to take a piece of copy paper, cut it out with my die, and then just put that on the inside so it's easy to write a message. I like using the copy paper for the inside so you don't waste one of your Copic coloring papers. So here is where the magic happens. Get out your glue gun. I got a piece of burlap and I just cut a little piece of it and hot glued it down. Um, those little frayed edges look really cute just peeking out from behind the flowers. And I am using wild orchid rose flowers. They're beautiful paper flowers. And I'm just hot gluing those on in a cluster of three. Very, very simple very quick and it really adds something to the card. Now you can't really mail this card in a regular envelope so you just mail it in a padded um, bubble mailer or you hand deliver this kind of card. I have lots of videos on shabby chic card making. If you look in my video library you'll find lots of tutorials and ideas for these types of cards. So I'll just hot glue the last flower on there and then when you're done you're going to want to make sure you pick off all your glue strings because you're going to have those. <laughs> so just clean it off and then you have a beautiful shabby chic card. So I'm so glad you guys joined me today. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next video. If you enjoyed the video, leave it a thumbs up. Press that little bell for notifications. And I'll catch you next time. Bye guys.